talking to you chemistry form 1 i know most of students they would like me to teach other subjects but i know these young boys and the girls still they need knowledge kwa hiyo kwa leo nita nitaanza na topic ya form 1 i know most of students especially in, in our in our developing countries they don't know english especially for countries like tanzania where most of the primary schools they are using swahili so we will be mixing both swahili and english in order to understand each other now introduction to chemistry so by introductory words lecture i told you that i am using an application from app store it is called shule direct app so you can go to the play store and download shule direct app it is the app which i am using now to record these videos and it is from where you can get notes so just download it it is free so by introduction kwale ambao hawana knowledge kabisa ya chemistry chemistry ni moja kati ya masomo ya science it is the branch of science subjects so in science we have three subjects pure science which is which are chemistry biology and physics and we have additional science which is geography and mathematics so chemistry tunakuwa tunasoma about the composition structure and the composition of matter in physics we are studying about the energy and in biology we are studying about the living organisms all these three branches of science they interact each other kwa hiyo huwezi ka separate biology physics na chemistry However as we go to study further and further they can be separated so all of these subjects ni masomo ya science so for you for once let me tell you that in these in all of these three subjects chemistry physics and biology you will be visiting your laboratories and you will see different apparatus and most of the apparatus in the laboratory they are they are similar because these science subjects they are similar in their concepts so i'm just introducing to you so as you can understand me kwa wale ambao walisoma shule ya msingi za Kiswahili chemistry ilikuwa ndani ya masomo ya science kwa kwenye chemistry tunasoma chemicals tunasoma kemikali the structure and the composition of matter muundo wa vitu mbalimbali vimeundwa na nini so by introduction in this topic you will learn about the concept of chemistry and the importance of chemistry in life and by the objectives by the end of this topic you should be able to explain the concept of chemistry mention materials made by application of chemistry then mention areas of field which where chemistry is applied and state the importance of chemistry so some of the teachers they can start explaining chemistry in terms of chemistry the branch of science and it's for sure by definition we say chemistry by definition we say chemistry is the branch of science which deal with matter and can be defined as anything that has weight or mass can occupy and can occupy space so chemistry is the branch of science which deal with composition and the composition of matter i know most of students and most of schools in Tanzania they are poor schools so they are mostly using oxford in the oxford the definition of chemistry which is lighting is that chemistry is the branch of science which deal with composition and the decomposition of matter and in this application they have written that chemistry is the branch of science which deal with the study of matter that is the study of nature properties and the composition of matter so saying in the study of composition and the decomposition of matter or saying in the study of nature properties and the composition of matter it is just the same thing so matter what is matter now so kwa Kiswahili matter anaita maada maada yani kwa mfano ambapo kwenye Kiswahili shule za msingi tusoma kwamba kuna maada ya BC maada kimiminika na maada ya gas kwa maada ni maada sasa maada in english we we call it matter so matter can be defined as anything that has weight or mass and it can occupy space kitu chochote ambacho kina uzito au weight there is difference between weight and mass like in this difference i can explain it in, in physics when you be reading about measurement in physics but here in chemistry you can't explain it clearly but weight huwa inakuwa na maana ya 
mass of the firm sometimes has relation to do due to gravity while mass is the quantity of the substance present in a, in a body and it can occupy space kwa kitu chochote chenye weight or mass na kina uwezo occupy space it is called matter so what are the matter any object which you know pen is a matter exercise book is a matter chalk is a matter everything which you know is a matter even gas is the matter food you eat is the matter so almost everything you know is the matter so therefore in chemistry we study about the material that make up the earth and the universe we are studying what makes a matter in form 2 we shall go to study a topic is called the atomic structure and there is where we shall see the atom or the matter they are composed of the small substance or small particles called atoms so i don't want to confuse you here but what i want to tell you is that in chemistry we shall be studying what is exactly earth or universe is composed of so here we shall go to to see few things about the application of chemistry so many of the things across the world they are made up by the application of chemistry almost all the things they are made up by the application of chemistry knowledge so application of chemistry knowledge enables the production of different materials and the products that we need to live better in everyday life we need different substances to meet our basic human needs like food shelter clothing comfort and health kwa hiyo utakuta kuna mavazi kuna vyakula kuna makazi yani vitu mbalimbali even oxygen we are we are consuming ni kweli it, it does not made it, it is not made in industry exactly however it is possible to make oxygen in industry kwa hiyo oxygen na vuta sisi inatengenezwa na mmea however it is possible to make oxygen in industry na ndio maana wagonjwa wa kio hospitali wanaweza kupewa oxygen wakapumulia mashine maana the oxygen is supplied by it is made artificially in the industry and it is supplied to patients so some materials made by application of chemists kwa kutumia knowledge ya chemistry tunatengeneza kerosene au paraffin yani mafuta kerosene mafuta ta kuna sukari sugar kuna choko yani chati kuna shoes viatu kuna clothes kuna common salt yani tunayotumia that is sodium chloride we have soft drinks coca cola fanta we have medical drugs medicine kuna madawa mengi tu panadols paracetamol and things like that kuna toothpaste plastics other aspirates come in to mere saruni wines vinywaji shoe polishes is kiwi cement baking soda petroli baking soda ni magadi petroli diesel cosmetics yani vipodozi soap body oils and sabuni mafuta pakara lotions body and hair cream see all these materials among others are made by application of chemists so almost all of the industrial synthesized materials they are made by application of chemists however that is not only the knowledge of chemists but it is the combination of knowledge of chemists and knowledge from other subjects like biology physics and the other fields like that so many products are made by the application of chemists in the industry all around us some of these materials are summarized in the table below so you can see in medicine applied the field and the examples so in medicine we have drugs vaccines tuna madawa tuna vaccines ni chanjo equipment ni vifaa mbalimbali nutritional supplements labda mtu ameshiwa madini fulani tuna bandage unaona kwenye kilimo agriculture kwenye kilimo tuna agrochemicals yani chemicals zinazotumika kwenye viwanda kuna fertilizers yani mbolea kuna pesticides yani dawa za kupulizia wadudu kuna herbicides yani dawa za kuwa magugu kuna acaticides kuna animal drugs yani dawa za kuwa sijupanya kuna vaccines za mimea kuna animal feeds kuna animal supplements yani vyakula vya wanyama na sikia siku kuna kuna mashubu ya wanyama then kwenye manufacturing industry kwenye viwanda vinavyozalisha sa vitu vikubwa tuna magari vehicles tuna cement tuna plastic kuna chemical paints yani rangi zinazopaka kwenye nyumba iron sheets mabati vanishes zinazopaka kwenye mbao tuna glue yani gundi lakini pia kwenye food and beverage industry kwenye viwanda vya vyakula kuna soft and alcohol drinks yani vinywaji pamoja na pombe 
kuna bank di food kuna kuna candy food spice kuna cooking oil resort pia kwenye home and care cosmetics industry tuna cosmetic detergents tuna toothpaste dawa ya meno tuna dawa za kusafishia vioo tuna vipodol tuna shoe polish and kiwi insecticide dawa za kulia siyo kunguni nini antiseptics and disinfectants kwa hiyo vyote hivi vinatengenezwa by the application chemists utakuta hapa kuna transport kwenye transport tuna fuel mafuta kama petroli diesel tuna lubricants tuna oil tuna grease tuna tar tuna coolant na tuna tires matairi ya magari so all of these products all of these products they are made by the application of chemists so now let's jump to the importance of chemistry let's jump to the importance of chemistry and in the area of importance of chemistry in the area of importance of chemistry they have been discussed in your oxford books so here i don't see directly they have discussed them but you can see in your oxford books so chemistry it is applied in different in different aspects it is applied in different aspects and in different fields of life that's that's what we call as it importance by the study of chemistry we know different things which help in our life help us to live well help us to to be cured from diseases help us to use fertilizer to produce more crops and different and different facts so here as you can see chemistry is such an important subject that is applied in many fields such as agriculture manufacturing industries kwenye viwanda vya usafiri kuna medicine kuna food and beverage industry kuna education kuna home care beauty industry transport and communication textile industry kwa viwanda vya mavazi na viwanda hivyo vyote vinatumia the knowledge of chemists so kama ni mwanafunzi wa form 1 naomba uelewe vitu kwamba unaweza ka visit kitabu chako cha Oxford kwa somo importance of chemists but you should know where chemistry is applied and how it is applied sometimes teacher they ask how is chemistry applied in agriculture so for example in agriculture if we want to get more crops tukitaka kuzalisha mazao mengi lazima tutumie mbolea unaona mbolea lakini pia lazima tutumie dawa za kuwa wadudu insecticides lazima tutumie weed killer yani herbicides kwa hiyo hivyo vyote vinatusaidia katika kuweza kuimprove crop production lakini pia kwa sababu agriculture is not only cultivation but also keeping animals so in keeping animals we are making vaccines we are we are making different different medicines for killing parasites such as worms uh, vaccines for control of diseases kwa hiyo unaweza kukuta kwa mfano kwenye ngombe kuna kwa kuna wale tick wale kupe wanakuwa na wanakaa kwenye ngozi ya ngombe kwa hiyo tu huyo wale inabidi tuwapulizie kemikali sana they are called ectoparasites yani parasite wa nje parasite ni mdudu ambaye anakaa kwenye mwili wa kiumbe mwingine na anakula kwa hiyo kiumbe tunamuita parasite kwenye lugha ya kibiolojia na hiyo kwa form 1 neno parasite litakuwa ni gumu lakini mwelewe tu hivyo tutaenda kwa soma zaidi tukifika form 2 so kama mnavyoona hapo hiyo ngombe anapigwa dawa pia huyu mbwa hapa anapewa vasini anapewa kinga ya ugonjwa fulani za kutabda ni kuna parasite fulani huyu nadhani ni mbuzi anapewa hiyo vasini hii ni oro vasini yani anapewa kupitia mdomo lakini pia ni medicine tunaona kuna kwa kuna vasini ambazo wanapewa watoto kwa ajili ya magonjwa mbalimbali kama polio kuna poxivirus kuna small pox kwa in medicine pia chemistry is used not only in vaccine pia tunatengeneza different suspension solutions dawa mbalimbali za mafua malaria and things like that so in different fields like textile industry jinsi ya kutengeneza mavazi we are using the knowledge of chemistry in leather industry the same producing these you need the knowledge of chemistry so atachukui tu ngozi ya mnyama tukatengeneza kiatu moja kwa moja it requires the knowledge from chemistry to produce it in manufacturing industry producing cement see producing different materials mabati haya metal sheets plastics and all feeds like that they require the knowledge of chemistry then in food and beverage industry yani katika viwanda vya vyakula nako na require knowledge of chemistry in transport and communication industry also we are making up tires fuel 
So all those require the knowledge of chemistry. Then in home care and the beauty products, see, we are making polishes, we are making cleaners, we are making lotions, uh, we are making antiseptics and things like that. In education, items which you, we use in school, in a chemistry laboratory, things like acids, they are made from knowledge of chemistry. Kwa ukiingia kwenye chemistry laboratory, utakuta kuna chemicali mbalimbali mle. Zile zote zimekuwa media by the application of chemistry. Lakini pia, even in school, we are using pen, we are using... Not only pen, we are using, we are using pen, pen, a plastic pen, pen is the polymer, so it is made up by the application of chemistry. Then ink, we know a pen, that is application of chemistry. Papers, rubber, all of those, they are application of chemistry. So from there, in summary, we can say that in this chapter, we are discussing about the chemistry, chemistry, the branch of science, which deals with the study of nature, properties, and composition of matter. And other things you need to know is the importance of chemists in different fields, how it is applied. Sometimes teachers, they can ask you that uh, according to how have you studied it, now tell us how chemists can be applied in different fields of, of life. So when you download this, this application from Play Store, you will see there are books of reference, but also there are part of quiz, as you see it is loading here, there is a part of quiz. For example, this question states the importance of chemistry in daily life. Not only that, now they, they can mention you here, fields, maybe agriculture, how chemistry is applied in agriculture, as I told you, making insecticides, making fertilizers, how chemistry is applied in, in, in food and beverage industry. So we have, we have, we have some of the references here, you have some of the difference, and I think uh, I think you can use these. So just go in the Play Store, download this, download this this app. Then after downloading it, you can assess these notes, and you can read these difference. I see here there is fundamental of secondary school chemistry book one. We have Macmillan Secondary School, we have Tanzanian Institute of Education, Secondary School, Chemist, Book 1. Then we have Chemist for Zanzibar Secondary Schools from 1 and from 2, Oxford University Press. So, Oxford, Univers Oxford book is the just good, but you can use even Thai book for, for your good performance. So, for this topic, it does not require any demonstration. Just go and read your book on... I think you can perform just well in your subjects. Wish you nice studies. Don't forget to go into the Play Store and download this Shure Direct app. Then you will get these notes directly from there. So I am not providing you any resource. Maybe in my Telegram group I can share the link for downloading this application. And even in the subscription of this video, I can share the link of just downloading this application from Play Store. Thank you, everybody. Wish you nice studies. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for more and more updates on chemistry, biology, and physics for a